Hello everyone, my name is Javier Iranzo Sánchez. I'm jointly with my colleagues at Universidad Politécnica de Valencia. I'm one of the authors of Direct Segmentation Models for Streaming Speech Translation. This is the table of contents for the presentation. And uh, we begin with uh, an introduction. So we are going to carry out streaming speech translation based on the cascade approach. Why? Well, uh, we benefit from independent improvements in both ASR and MT. We have also available uh, huge uh, data sets, both for ASR and for MT. And up to date, we get uh, better performance than the end-to-end -end approach. So our streaming ST system is composed by an ASR system, which is ready to handle a possibly infinite input stream. We also have an offline empty system. And uh, the way this system is going to work is that it's going to be fed a series of segments or chunks of the ASR transcription. So this work, we look into developing a segmentation model, which is based not only on text, but also on acoustic information. In terms of previous work, some people have tried to carry out segmentation uh, based on uh, acoustic heuristics. So for example, looking at the position of silence phonemes in order to split. Other people have also tried to use language models, so they compute the probability of an end of sentence token and then they decide depending on that. And also uh, monolingual machine translation have, has been used. So they take as input the ASR transcription and they produce, they produce a translation which includes punctuation marks. And you can then segment based on that. So if you find if you find an exclamation mark, a question mark, or a period, you consider that uh, you have a split decision. For this work, we are going to use this statistical framework. So we have an as input, a sequence of words x1 to j that are, are to be split into non-overlapping chunks. And then we will uh, decide on a sequence of split, non-split decisions y1 to j so that uh, yj is equal to one if the word xj ends a chunk and zero otherwise. And optionally, optionally we will get a sequence of word-based acoustic features, a1 to j, which are aligned with the input words. So aj is aligned to xj. And then uh, we, under this uh, framework, we define the following op optimal segmentation. So we apply the chain rule and we get this and uh, moving from this general framework, we are going to make a couple of uh, assumptions. So we will uh, carry out a split based only on local information. So at current word J, the split decision depends on the uh, previous H words, the history, and the following W words, the future window. Then carrying out this upon these assumptions, we modify our search problem. And the way that we are going to uh, incorporate the, uh, the information of the W of the splits is to construct a new input stream that uh, when we have a split decision, we will just insert an end of sentence uh, token. So this is our text model. We will begin having an embedding layer which computes an embedding. And then uh, they will be passed over an RNN network which will compute a series of uh, internal states. Then we are going to take the internal states corresponding to xj until the end of the future window, so xj plus w, and we are going to concatenate all this into a single vector. And this single vector is going to be passed through a series of feedforward networks. Then we will get a softmax and we get the probability of splitting or not splitting. This is the text model. So here we have the text model inside a dashed line. And then we can add uh, audio information. So we provide the model with acoustic features. These acoustic features can be uh, either passed through an RNN and then the internal states can be concatenated or they can be just uh, concatenated directly with the text states and fed to the feed forward. These acoustic features are uh, 
the duration of the xj word, the duration of the previous silence to the xg word, and the duration of the next silence phoneme after the after word j. In terms of the experimental setup, uh, the way we are going to measure the performance of, uh, of the segmentation system is by looking at the end-to-end -end blend. ASR systems, we will use hybrid VLST, VLSTM HMM with an RNN language model and for empty transformer models. For the segmentation model, we carry out a hyperparameter search and then we land it on these, uh, on these values. And we will carry out experiments across two benchmarks uh, on a, on a data set Europal ST, which has audio data. And then we will also add additional text data coming from the IWSLT 2012. First, we wanted to look at the preprocessing scheme for the empty systems. So we compare the, the conventional, the standard empty preprocessing with a special case uh, uh, for speech translation, which tries to mimic the ASR input to better train the empty system. And what we do is we lower case, we remove punctuation marks, and we transliterate numbers. And then we get that, well, yes, this new uh, preprocessing scheme has a much better results since the empty system has been already trained with data that uh, mimics the ASR input. Here we have a, a brief snapshot of the different experiments. So on the left, we have the average uh, BLE over the different history sizes where we compare the text model versus the audio models depending on the window length. And you can see how uh, well the, uh, the audio models perform better than the, than the text models. And on the right, uh, we're going to just focus on the case of the audio models. You can see the different, uh, the different effects of the history size. And overall, taking, the, taking into account what we have learned from these uh, experiments, we get that well, audio models improve over uh, text models and that larger uh, window and history sizes tend to perform better. So we selected for the, for the following experiment, a window size 4 and a history size 10, since they tend to have a, a good uh, quality latency trade-off. Here are more results comparing the different systems, the baseline and the oracle segmentation. I'm just going to focus on two, uh, on two results. So for uh, English-German, you can see that the text model improved over the baseline and that the audio models improve over the text ones. These results hold across all other language pairs except for Spanish-English. And in Spanish English, we, we looked at the details closely because it seemed that the text models might be performing better. What we found out was that simply the length of the audio segments was sometimes larger than the maximum length of the empty system. And that's why there, there was a performance drop. If we apply some heuristic to limit the length of the segments, we get the same results as in all the other ones, that the audio models perform better than the text ones. Now, we show a comparison with the previous work. So you can see how the uh, language model segmentation works. In this case, for the language model, the additional text data does not improve performance. Then we have the monolingual MT approach where there is an improvement using text data. And then we have this work, the direct segmentation model, which uh, across all settings uh, obtains improvement over the previous literature. So we get uh, improvements from using the reference, we get improvement from additional text data, and uh, we stay at around two points uh, lower performance than the Oracle segmentation. Now, in terms of uh, latency, we have evaluated latency at three points. So when we get a chunk defined by the ASR system, a chunk defined by the segmenter, and a chunk that has been translated by the empty system, 
Then we compute the latencies. We get these three different latencies. We see that the latency is dominated by the time it takes to the ASR language model to consolidate a hypothesis. And if we work uh, with non-consolidated hypothesis, then we get a much better latency. So for the ASR part, around 0 0.8 seconds. And then for the whole uh, speech translation system, a latency of just 1.3 seconds. So to sum up, uh, we have uh, presented a novel uh, segmentation model that uses acoustic features in order to improve the accuracy of the segmentation model. We have shown that this model has a superior performance over all other previous segmentation approaches in the literature. And we have also shown how carrying out a special preprocessing helps the machine translation better have better translation, uh, better translation accuracy. Now, in terms of uh, future work, we devise some uh, research lines to have improvements. In this case, we also want to look at additional uh, other type of acoustic features that can be used. We want to look at model pre-training, so we can carry out uh, first a large pre-training using text data and then just carry out a small training using audio data. We want to look into ways of integrating this uh, segmentation model into directly the translation process. And we also want to uh, look at ways of just uh, working with uh, simultaneous empty systems. That will be all. Uh, thank you for your attention.